So today is the second day in February 2018. This probably isn't a special day to you and you're probably wondering what this video even is about. But since you've seen the title, you probably already guessed it. But if you didn't realize, a certain map came out two years ago to this day. And this isn't just your ordinary zombies map. This is one of the best maps ever created Der Eisendrack. A map so beloved, a map that is so incredibly good I thought we should take a trip down memory lane to look at what it was like when Derizon Drac was first announced, revealed, and when it dropped, with all of the highlights included. Just before we start, isn't it weird that it's already February in 2018 and this map is two years old? Like, it's just hard to believe. But let's jump to December 21st, 2015. Call of Duty dropped a DLC preview for the Awakening map pack, which included Derizon Drac and the now infamous quote from Jason Blundell about being a sucker for medieval castles. Acts in 2016. I'm a sucker for medieval castles. <laughs> That's where we're going in Derizon Drag. We've got this wonderful ancient castle that all the kind of evil forces and all the kind of mind-bending stuff that we do in our zombie storyline is all kind of infested in this one location. The castle was built upon an ancient site where many dark atrocities have occurred over the centuries. The site contains massive deposits of the recently discovered Element 115. This allows us to kind of play with other narrative and thematic elements uh, in a setting which is uh, a personal favorite of mine. On the Awakening DLC, we'll also be introducing four new Mega Gumballs. This chapter is very much about introducing new concepts, but then also bringing it to a conclusion. We're incredibly excited to answer a lot of the questions the community has, bring some sort of resolution to a lot of the torment that we put our fans into, and then also maybe introduce some new concepts to have them puzzling out into the future. But just watching this back and knowing what we know now about Dorys and Drag, it is absolutely incredible. Black Ops 3 Zombies started off to a great start with a very different take on a starting map with Shadows of Evil and also including the fantastic remake of Doris known as The Giant, complete with our Origins characters and starting off the brand new story from where Origins left off. The Giant was that tiny appetizer to get our stomachs hungry for more and for our first full new outing with the Origins crew with Dar Eisendraka and what a map. February 2nd this map dropped and blew away all expectations. Now it goes about saying that this is a Treyarch Zombies offering here and there was no doubt that they were going to deliver but oh my god did they deliver. As soon as you booted into the map you knew that things were serious. So still uncertain as to Richtofen's ultimate goals Dempsey, Nikolai and Takio fought alongside him to prevent the Dempsey test subject from reaching Group 935's research base on the moon. The success of their mission revealed the dark truth of just what would be required of each of them, the termination of their other selves. Right from the offset, Darius and Drac catered to both casual and hardcore zombie players by containing many elements from previous maps such as Origins, Mob of the Dead, Moon and Ascension. The The Wonder Fizz machines return from Origins as well as the beloved Panzer Soldat with a new look and slight weapon variations. We've got Dragon Heads which breathe fire and devour zombies one at a time just like Cerberus and Mob of the Dead and Gay us the wrath of the ancients bow. Wonder weapons couldn't get any better by having four elemental variations of the bows which were absolutely mind-blowing. From a technical standpoint Derizon Drac was a masterpiece. It delivered some incredible easter egg objectives which were obscure and very fun to complete every time you jump into the game. The map, the weapons, the zombies and the surroundings were all rich in narrative and still to this day are blown Blowing our mind. Stuff like the Wolf King, the many different ciphers littered around the map, the fact that over five years later the map Moon tied in with this map storyline in such a mind-blowing way that hardcore zombie players that have played since the early days were absolutely blown away by the revelations that this map caused. And with my hand held on my heart here, and I'm sure you guys will all agree this map will go down as one of the greatest maps ever created, if not the best zombies map ever created. Now let's talk about one of the map's greatest strong points which is its incredible easter egg quest which to this day is still one of my favorites and is
it's still such a fun one to do. So what exactly did Treyarch do which broke the boundaries of what we're used to? Well for starters we had steps which involved us going back in time, something which we have seen before in previous maps but this was done in a new way which gave us more insight to a character that has been deep within the zombie storyline since Moon, Dr. Groff. We finally managed to physically see him and see the interaction of what happened back in the past when he used to work with Richthofen. And surely we can't forget the most important thing, the fact that Tank Dempsey is on a rocket on his way to the moon. If that wasn't one way to start off the Black Ops 3 DLC season with a massive bang, I don't know what would because that was a shocking thing to hear and at that point in the game we had no idea what the main goal was to go and kill off the original characters but who would have thought we would have sent tank dempsey in a rocket back down to earth crashing through a bell tower and the golden rod being something we could pick up something which was as far back in the storyline as call of the dead and it's not like the golden rod is just a random item this is a seriously important item it's a real generator used for creating incredible amounts of power and energy and the last time we saw it was when ultimus richtofen used it to gain control of the ether in moon so to see it in Horizon drac it was incredible, trust me. Then we follow this keep around, we charge it up with souls from the different elemental bows, and this is where things get crazy. This may not seem like a big deal nowadays, as we've pretty much had one ever since, but Derizon Drag was the first Zombies map to ever introduce a boss fight at the end of its Easter egg quest, and this is by no means an easy one either. It's a giant Apothecan Keeper, and this was a huge shock because we got used to them in Shadows of Evil, but didn't really understand what they were. So to see it in this version and for people to struggle with it so much during the initial easter egg discovery, this was a truly awesome boss fight and one which Treyarch knew was going to get people stumped on the first initial times. But this is still one of my favourite boss fights because even though we've had boss fights far harder than this one, it still goes down as one of my favourites and it's still genuinely quite tricky at least in my opinion. When Derizon Drap first came out, it was difficult. People were struggling to complete this. Treyarch knew that by implementing some of the really nasty little tactics that this boss fight does, such as the electricity, it was going to catch people right. out. Okay. Four, on top, Stand top. Three, two, one, slam. Oh. Yes! Oh my god! I can't see. Okay. Holy... What? What's going on? Whoa, what? it's not over. What? Holy crap. Oh, yes. Okay, Milo's down. Milo's down. That's okay. I have monkeys, by the way. Should I throw yeah, it? I got Milo. I don't know. What? What the fuck was that? What? No way. <laughs> what? Just... One of my favorite moments from the initial Horizon Drag Easter Egg Hunt was Spider Bite going into the boss fight and having the most epic rage I've ever seen. Now, this isn't in any way making fun of Spider Bite. He clearly outlines the piece of furniture which he destroyed was something he was going to be destroying anyway. But when I originally saw this, his reaction was so funny to me that it just shows how frustrating a boss fight can really be. And was a real highlight in this season of Zombies. Too many dogs by No, the there's too many dogs. I'm sure some of us have gotten that angry over zombies at some point. But even for me, I struggled. I've done about seven or eight solo attempt live streams before I finally completed it and got a little bit of slack from Noah for it. But you know what? I managed to do it in the end and that's all that matters. The super overpowered gumballs that we have now in zombies weren't available during DLC 1, so I had to make do with what we had. But the enjoyment of hunting for that Easter egg, completing all of those bow upgrades, completing the boss fight, and then getting that final.
final end cutscene really was the cherry on top. Now, this wasn't the first time we've had an in-game cutscene at the end of the Easter egg. We had one in Shadows of Evil, but this was a full-length end cutscene with all the bells and whistles, something we were not expecting at all, and it's just beautiful. And this moment from Noah's livestream completing it is just the best moment from Dryzen Jack, in my opinion. Just the reactions, everyone screaming, and the nuke donation going off in the cutscene is just classic. The timing is just impeccable, and it's one of the funniest moments ever for me from Dryzen Jack, and I'm sure it will be for you guys as well. So let's roll it. Whoa, oh, oh, I put it here. I put it here. Computer. Computer. Come over. Where? Simon says computer. 30 seconds to impact. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Is it 30 seconds to impact? What? No, yeah, what yeah. the fuck did you do, bro? Oh, my God, run! <laughs> no, what did you do? Go to Whoa. Dempsey. Whoa. Go to Dempsey. You are four right of it. Go to Dempsey. Oh, oh my God. God. We're going to blow up the moon. What? Holy. I'm missing the sish. We're not preventing the advance. What? Shh, shh. Oh, holy shit! Oh my god! What? What? The road is long, dark, but I know where we are going. I, we, will complete our mission. Oh, oh, shush, shush, shush. Tactical nuke incoming! Holy shit! That's how you do it! Yes. Yes. Whatever Black Ops 4 has up its sleeves, I just hope that it has something incredible so we get the same sort of reactions to completing Easter eggs like this. This was truly a beautiful, beautiful map. And if all of that wasn't enough, then there's other incredible memorable moments like some of the glitches and, of course, the infamous plunger weapon. Don't laugh at this. This is a, this is a serious game. This is a, this is a serious game. Don't laugh at this. Stop laughing at this. I don't even understand what's happening here, but this is a serious game for serious people. It's a dark game. It's a thrilling game. You've got to believe me. Don't laugh at this. It's not funny. Stop laughing at this. Don't laugh at this. Move on. Next. All right. Who turned who turned the music on? Who turned the music on? This isn't funny. This isn't funny. Turn, turn the music off and get the, get the robot guy down from there. This isn't funny. Don't laugh. This is a serious game. Don't laugh at this. I don't know what sort of cereal truck were eating the day they created the plunger, but it made for some hilarious clips. And that right there is going to wrap up my video overlooking Der Eisendrack. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about Der Eisendrack. Is it your favorite map of all time? Is it your favorite map in Black Ops 3 Zombies? Or do you not like Der Eisendrack at all? There is a small minority out there that think this map is overrated. And I just, I can't believe that opinion. I just can't believe it. But nevertheless, I thought it'd be great to look down memory lane at this map and just show you guys just how awesome this map really is. And just to tell Treyarch that they absolutely killed it. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like rating if you like Dorizen Drac and subscribe for more zombie videos like this. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.